Hello my friends, the next mission on the docket is going to be a Sinister Turn, and I am really, really excited to play as the hybrid. Mmm. Or should I say, mmm, R. <laughs> you gotta find something to do to enjoy yourself on loading screens. Mar the hybrid grows much strong. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm done reading. Buildable units. Mar himself. Looks like a fairly generic Protoss tech tree. And, I mean, if I, if I can build carriers, I'm gonna build some carriers. Ultra Brutal Challenge. This mission's challenge is Alone in the Darkness. Zeratul has already defeated both of your allies. I'm going to assume that that means that I only get the base across the bridge. We will see how that goes. That's interesting because the mission doesn't start with the bridge extended, so I might actually get some time to power up. That would be pretty cool. All right, uh, no Cybercore. Too high Templar. The mighty spirits of the preservers are imprisoned close by. We must find them. And that is it. Oh, that's going to give like Zeratul time to take out the map, isn't it? That could suck. The preservers you seek to last higher power now, Dark One. Well, that guy had a bad life. <laughs> he tried his best. But we only have God, gateways. What could have and a forge. These Protoss so. Truly, something foul has taken hold of this sacred place. Hmm. A Protoss and Zerg hybrid. Gods, an abomination. Who created this atrocity? So here we get him. And he's got 700, 700. That's actually pretty good. 125 energy. Graviton prison. Charge cooldown 4. It looks like we have 3 charges. Makes the target unit float in the air. Disabling its abilities deals 80 damage over the duration. Ooh, 80 damage is a lot. Holy crap. Oh... Uh, Okay, he's got a big army. Hopefully Mars pretty good. Oh, I'm a long way away from carriers. I think the carriers are going to be a bad choice. And then we have teleportation. Teleport the hybrid to any friendly structure after a five-second channel. Detection and steal psionic energy with every attack, getting 15% of the energy or damage done as energy. Interesting. Oh, well, that's a fast life for that Templar. I think I want to be lifting the things that are pressuring my cannons. Yeah, Mar is very good. And then we got to lift a lot of things. Now we restore energy when we deal damage. Does that work on my own structures? Ooh. So we have an energy battery. And he has oh, already gotten all these. Starting to think on Ultra Brutal, there's no way that I'm ever going to be able to... Get all... I could not deny him from getting his bonus, huh? I'm gonna lift the Zealots because they do the most damage. I really have no idea. Oh gosh, Mars gonna die. But maybe that's okay, he respawns, right? Keep chronoing the carriers. And let's try to get another one of these out. Energy is full. Every time there's an attack wave, I can just alternate which building I'm bopping to fully restock my energy. While I'm chronoing out carriers. These attack waves are huge, which makes me think that I'm gonna have to turtle for a good amount of time. But eventually. A maxed out army of carriers? Or at least, I don't know, 110 supply of carriers? What beats that? I don't think anything does that Protoss has.
Oh, look at that. He's just not taking damage. I mean, he took a little bit there, but it was really minimal. I don't know if this Mar strat is how it's supposed to be played, but starting every fight with full energy is great. I'm going to get some more cannons here. And this is looking pretty nice. I'm afraid to venture onto the map, though. I don't really have much going on. I do have a sentry. I can... Ooh, DTs. Cool. So this is where his unit starts to get scary. I'm going to try lifting the immortals because they bust the cannons real quick. I gotta keep those alive. They're kind of the halfway point between a carrier death army and being dead myself. Oh my goodness, he's here again. So DTs are the highest priority because they do insane DPS and they're very vulnerable. And then we're gonna try to shoot these out of the sky. I'm starting to lose stuff on that right hand side, but it doesn't look like that side is very important anyway, so that's probably... Gosh, they're still here! And it is important to remember, interceptors cost 25 minerals. Uh-oh. Smart gonna die. Got a little bit more fighting him. Losing the forge would suck, though. Gotta be careful of that. I think he's going to die, and hopefully we just have enough to respawn him. I don't know if he costs money or whatever, but we'll see. It looks like Mar gets an upgrade to 40% power. Just given a guess, I bet that we have to survive until Mar is at 100% power. That's the storm's going to be pretty good against interceptors, huh? Oh, goodness. Hmm... Oh, I have an idea. Ooh. Okay. The hybrid is draining the preservers to now we're going to head up here I must free while them. waiting for the next attack, and we're going to go late. snipe the Templar Archives. Because it's right up there. We can kill it, right? Yes. So take it out and then pull back. Could you not storm my interceptors? I do need them. And then while we're being attacked, Mar can lift up these guys. It carries into the fight. Templar Archives down. Probably Templar problem dealt with. And that means that they're not going to have anything that can contest the carrier. Nice. That's really smart. I'm proud of myself there. And this is looking like a good number of carriers. So I should be able to say... No, I'm not working in the editor anymore. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, I should be able to resume from replay if things go terribly. Mars dead again. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of DTs. Well, I guess we know where all of his Archon gas went. Is there a 6k in the bank? And he is just always attacking. Ugh. I wonder what this thumbnail should be. What does this do? Sonic Shockwave releases a burst of energy. Okay. Bopping everything back. Alright. I'm going to send some carriers to go attack one of these bases while I try to hold on here. I'm running out of money. I'm actually in a very bad position. Oh, goodness. They just blew that carrier out of the sky. And... Oh, Mars armored. He's marmored. Oh, that sucks. Now they're on top of the objective. I'm not sure the carrier is the right answer here. One base carrier? Not that strong. Hmm. I'm going to go scout with these carriers. Just figure out what's going on in these final moments so that I could... 
<laughs> yeah, this is definitely a timed defense mission, they just don't tell you. That's Mar 80% in six minutes. So we probably have to last till what, the 25-ish minute mark? Because I don't see a way to get across the map. <sighs> okay. I don't think I'm getting into here either. So, what's the plan? I think that High Templar will be good because of the bridge. So let's give that a go. I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. And we're going to make it happen. So, High Templar should have Kaidaran Amulet, which means that they spawn at full energy when built. Full energy is a lot of energy. The mighty spirits of the preservers you know what, we don't need that. Close by. Ooh. Must find them. I have an idea. Ooh. That's gonna be cool. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you what my idea is. But one of the major things, the themes for these missions seems to be bleeding the opponent out of resources. And I have a pretty decent idea on how to do that here. That could be really fun. Then we can spend all of the minerals on Photon Cannons to defend, and I think that Mass Cannon Mar is going to be super duper strong. If I don't have to go in. I'll have to figure out how to win later, but... <laughs> whatever, it's a time defense mission, we'll figure that out when it comes to it. Maybe we have to mine him out. Wouldn't that be funny? So while they're coming across the bridge, I want to nail him with a good storm. Or two. And this guy gives me vision, so actually I'm going to move these up a little bit, and they should be able to storm when they surround and clobber this nerd. I don't really care about him because he is not on my team. Look at that. A lot of damage. There are many abandoned structures in this place that we can make use of. They merely need their power to store and we just lift these up slowly. This ability is pretty fun. It is kind of a pain in the butt because you have to use it a lot. It recharges as its cooldown really fast. If only there was someone that was designing a hybrid edition and they accidentally didn't know about this problem, but happened to design things in a way that the hybrid dominator just passively picks people up as he fights. Because it seemed like a pain in the butt. That'd be really cool. No spoilers, though. Our liberation is at hand. So this is where the Templar come. Being able to feed back the Templar will be good, too, assuming they can't feed back me, which they probably can. I return to serve. I forgot to storm. Okay, we're going to go for this gateway this time. And then we're going to go drop. And get some more of these. Oh, got to be real careful. Oh, we don't have prism speed. This could be bad. Oh, but look at this. Oh, that's juicy. That is so juicy. I hope this works. I'm going to wait for my shields to get back, then I'm going to gonna go for it. Zertwa has 9,000 minerals in the bank. This is going to be a very slow process to get rid of this economy, huh? Goodbye, mineral line. It's working. We just need to do this about 15,000 more times, and he'll completely run out of cash. There's three bases, right? There's one here. Actually, let's head up. Head to Zeratul's main, because that's probably where the juicy shots are, you know? And I doubt that he has as much army up there. I don't know why he would keep... Eh, he probably keeps a lot of army there, doesn't he? He's not a normal player. But it's definitely worth a go. I can always reload from replay if things get too bad. So what I should do is get a rotation going of try to storm drop after every one of these attacks is held. 
Okay, go, go, go. Where's the narrow field? Right here. Oh, he's wide open. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we got it. Okay. And it only cost our armor. He'll be back. It's fine. We need more cannons. So you guys go into here. Oh, this is cool. I don't know if it's good or not, but I do know that it is super duper neat. Oh my gosh. Uh, Mars back. Then we can lift. Try to protect this cannon specifically. Then I don't think I have enough energy for another storm drop, but I can try soon. Oh, look at how much money he's burning through. Why is there a probe out there? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, look at that. There's a little alcove here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. May have been too bold. I like the idea, though. I'm going to keep on with it. See if we can get one of the bases back here or something. Because he's halfway through his cache. And we're on the eight, eight minute mark. That's pretty good. Probably. Okay, we're going to get Blubble Blorp the Prism to one, two, three, four. Get wrecked. Oh, look, there's no one to storm. I didn't even think about that, but storms aren't really going to be an issue. Because, well, he's going to be able to get one target at a time, but that doesn't matter. I was thinking about feedback the whole time, but I wasn't thinking of portals. Or... You need three targets for the AI to actually want to hit things. Okay, I think we're going to stick with just these two and try to get the expansions. The main seems a little difficult. Though getting the cannons up is also a little bit difficult. Oh my goodness, DT Central. None of my guys can get knocked back here, which is cool. I think they killed the probe. Let's try more cannons. And theoretically, Mar should be getting better as time goes on. Oh, Mars is dying. I don't think I'm... These attacks are huge, though. I'm just gonna die to this one, I think. Maybe if I was paying attention when that attack came. It's difficult because, I mean, I'm trying to take, what, 10 seconds to storm? And I don't get 10 seconds between fights. I need to build the cannons first, right now, and then I need to focus on this attack. The Armored Mar, though, is a killer. Oh! This is another one where I kind of want to, like, chat and talk about stuff just to say, hi, how's it going? But I can't because it's just constantly... Death aggression. Like, this attack wave wasn't done before the next one appeared. I might have to go back all the way to a time in the past that I didn't grab one of my Templar waves. Uh, is it incorrect to be on the map? Could that be the problem? Is that I literally just have to sit here the entire time? Because that seems really boring. But it does seem correct. Now there's... Holy crap! They just keep coming! This is absurd! I'm gonna keep one prison.
Do we go back to when I lost this original prism? That may have been the point that I died. It was just too big of an investment. I think the first little excursion went really well with this prism. I'm going to keep it. We healed a bunch of workers. We got out of there. And then I'm going to work on pure defense with one prism going around and storming. Oh, Mar died. And then we're just going to push out a ton of storms and a ton of cannons. And if I can get a critical mass of storm, then I'll move out again, I guess. Okay, Mars back out. At least he's got a bunch of HP to work with. Oh no! Uh, okay. I messed up because I had my Templar on two, I thought, but in fact it was the Prism. So Prism's dead, Prism's on three. I'm gonna get two Stormy Boys. I want it to be a good strategy, so I'm forcing it to be a strategy. But I can't force the good part. And I'm going to try lifting only Immortals. This guy got up here pretty easily. Oh, I only have one of these. Yeah, get wrecked. And these guys are going to be here. Probably another way of coming very soon. Get him on the bridge. Oops. This is a weird mission. I thought I was going to get to be a lot more aggressive with Mar, but it turns out he's just super, super defense. Which doesn't really play like the previous mission. Not previous mission, but the normal version of the mission does. Do I kill him? I don't think so. Oh, no storms. Just lift everything possible. I kind of hope he dies. There we go. So we're going to get a full HP restoration here. Oh, look at that. So we... Do not dodge storms easily. If I storm them, they come after me. Which is very powerful to know. Mars almost back. Check for storms. <laughs> oh, it's fun. And Big M is back in action. It is nice that there's not really a downside to lose. I mean, there's a downside in that he is dead for a bit. But it's not like the end of the world if he gets killed. It's more like Warcraft 3 losing a hero level of badness instead of Starcraft 2 or Starcraft 1 instant loss. Or most custom campaigns ever. You know how it is. This cannon count's getting really high. I think this was the double wave that killed me last time, wasn't it? It was around this time. One thing I'm noticing is that as Mar gets better, he gets those upgrades, so he hits for more, so he gets more of the energy, which is cool. That was really bad. Now we're going to take these three guys, and they're going to go into this prism, and now we're going to be able to storm drop the other expansion as well. I'm hoping. Then I'm actually going to put some Templar in the back. Okay, let's use the knockback. Ugh, gotcha. That ability doesn't seem very good. It hurts my own guys, and it's not super impactful against the enemy, given that they can lose units really quickly and it doesn't really matter. 
cash. We've almost driven them out of cash, though. And that means the attack wave should be shrinking fairly soon. Yeah, they can't keep this up. Oh! I can't keep Mar up. Oh! Not ideal right there. Well, that sucks. Yeah, the, it's the cost of trying to go out and be active. Look at that, he's out of minerals. He's only got gas remaining. We're going to do this. I don't know how long it's going to take. Oh gosh, there's still a lot of time before we are at full power Mar. That's pretty annoying. I think if there was like a Mar bar at the top, it would be better. You know, just like a big old indicator. It's like full power in two minutes and 37 seconds or whatever. That'd be pretty sweet. It'd make me feel more confident as it increases in size. I don't know if it'd be too annoying or whatever, but I would be interested in hearing your thoughts on a Mar Bar. <laughs> Mar Bar. It's just fun to say. One, two, what'll you do? I assume that I... Okay, Hybrid Essence Infusion. What is that? I think that just gives me more attack damage, energy, shields, all that kind of stuff. Then I can storm on this side again. This alcove seems safe. It doesn't aggro anyone. And he should be getting to the point where he can't really afford to produce anymore. I'm going to start building Immortals and Zealots because I want to move out onto the map and kill this nerd. It's getting to the point where I don't really need to be using my Templar to defend, which is great. I can just kind of do this. Uh, do we want to lose Mar? Not yet, but soon. And we continue the storming. Storming will continue until your economy disimproves. Uh, it's not time to go carry. Yeah, I don't think there's ever going to be a time to go carriers on one base. I bet that normally, because if you're not playing on Ultra Brutal, you seem to get these extra bases out here that you could go carriers, because three base carriers are real good. I wonder how many workers I've killed. It's like thousands, billions. I was about to say, <laughs> I was about to say that I needed to be careful about losing Mar because I needed detection, but I actually think I'm okay in the detection department. How big of a supply should I build before moving it? Oh, hello. 80% power. Now we have Plasma Blast. Shoots a ball of plasma. I know this ability. It killed me all the time in Deathless. Oh, that's good to have. And then we want to lift one guy at the end and use him as like a mana battery. Just keep the energy flowing. And keep the prisms dropping. My mineral fields are about to be depleted. That's actually really bad. Five minutes until hybrid full power. That's important. So I guess I want to wait five more. That'll be the 25 minute mark. 
which interestingly I believe is the time limit for the achievement on this mission. Oh, that's cool. Oh, if that's why it was determined, I like that a lot. It's smart, it's cute, and it doesn't really matter. So it's one of those things that if you notice it, you just feel clever, but if you don't notice it, it doesn't impact your life at all. Nice. Can we talk about all these workers that I've killed? I feel like Zeratul's economy is not nearly as crippled as it should be. This man is really good at rebuilding workers. Was that his attack wave? Ooh. Nope. That, that absolutely is not his attack wave. Do we one-shot Templar now? Almost. I'm just trying to keep the army size up. I'm almost ready to go. No, I'm going to be careful. I'm going to be cautious. I know this is ultra brutal. I'm like so tempted to go attack, but I shouldn't be. I should just be focused on doing what is working. Being able to spend a couple extra minutes. Minutes are not that long. I'll storm myself. Let's not talk about that. And maybe I'll run out of money at the exact mark that it's time to leave. Maybe that's how it's designed. I have three mineral patches remaining, so... Uh, oh gosh, I hope that Zeratul runs out of money before I do. I do like Plasma Blast. Oh, this is an ability I've never had before, and it's nice. Do I want one more immortal? I think I do. One thing that'd be a really nice quality of life change, if you happen to be making an RTS and are watching this VOD for whatever reason, the ability to see inside of your transport what the energy level of your units is would be really, really sweet. You can steal that one from me. You don't even have to credit me. Just anything that increases your ability on the UI to make more informed decisions, I think, is universally good. I know that there's some purists out there that want you to have, like, no information. Because that's how Brood War is, but I don't know, guys. I think that being able to know is power. So what I'm hoping is that I can attack with my army and not die to a counterattack. Because I will have so many cannons. And that's going to be my victory strat here. I'm also going to pull these back when I start attacking and morph them into Archons, which should help things out. Not my best storms right there. But I have definitely killed over 100 workers. I'll be interested to see at the end. Because when I merge these, it'll show their entire kill counts combined. Uh oh. Five seconds. All right. Enough workers have been killed. Let's head back home. And prepare for the big push. Hybrid full power. So let's check what Mars stats are. 80 damage, 3 shields, 4 armor. Not bad. Not actually that scary, but not bad. Okay, so we hybrid these guys, and then we get some Templar back here. We're making three of them, so we should be able to Archon up. We'll check the kill counts, and then we'll go. How many do we got? 37 and 70 kills, and those are all workers. <laughs> My goodness. So we're just going to put some of these on hold position, and then... Get this guy who has another 30 kills. So that means that I killed well over 100 workers. And then we're going to defend one more attack wave, and it is time to move out. I hope that I don't end up having to long distance mine from these bases. So my thought so far is that I'm not the biggest fan of big defense missions, maybe I was missing something. It is definitely possible that I just didn't understand one aspect of the mission 
that allowed me to be more aggressive. But I found my own fun in the aggression through the use of the prism drops. I think that was pretty neat. I need to not lose Mar because he is my only detector when I'm out in the wild. You know what? These are going to become Archons. I will end up storming myself, I know that, and then Mar will die from it and I'll feel like an idiot. Let's head to this side first. I'm going to take out the expansions, then go for the main. Let's uh, Plasma Blast, a Photon Cannon, and I've gotten a lot of Immortals because I thought that Building Busting would be good. I remember seeing all the cannons up there. And then little rallies like this are going to get wrecked. Because we can just lift them up, they won't do anything. Friendly Firestorm right there, a little bit. Okay, base number one down. Oh God, it's still fully saturated. <laughs> I know that I did stuff, but man does it not feel like I did stuff. You know what I mean? All right, two probes, go long distance mine. So full power Mar definitely is a army crusher. He has the ability to disable huge amounts of army at the same time. And that's incredible. Guess we'll set these on long distance mine as well. It does feel like a lot of the missions in... I guess a lot of missions in Wings of Liberty in general are defense missions, so that's not really unique to this campaign now that I think about it. I was going to criticize it, but I think that, that criticism is pretty invalid. Because you are always working within the constraints of the mission design in the game. Right? I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts on that, though. How do you think that this mission could be done in a way that allows you to be more active? Is it just a function of the Ultra Brutal Challenge, or do you have any cool ideas? This is where the scary bit's gonna happen. I'm gonna- I gotta make sure that the Immortals are in the back. Good, an attack wave just washed upon me. That means I should be able to push up here. Get the Immortals up here shooting and lift the DTs because they do infinity damage. The base itself is not actually that bad. You know, I wouldn't be surprised that if I had done an Immortal drop back here, I might have been able to snipe the Nexus now that I'm looking at things. If I'd gotten the timing right, maybe not, because there's so much production in this area. But it kind of feels like it would have been possible. Well, no production anymore, my friend. Let's get these probes. Oh. Um. Does not affect probes. Alright, so that obviously at some point in the development process was super overpowered because... <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine you put Mar in a prism, and then you just drop him on a mineral line and go, boop, and they all die. That would be so good. Oh, that'd be so sweet. All in all, I thought that this mission was fine as a defense mission, but it didn't... I don't know. I like being act... I just like being active. There's nothing else to say about it, and that's personal preference. I know a lot of people love their defense missions, and you gotta cater to all styles of play. But it, oh, they rebuilt. Do I have any workers? I have a worker. Oh, okay, here it comes. Get him! Everyone has a job, and your job is murder probe. Oh no, he's got two probes. He has three! Triple my economy. And he's chrono boosting. Disrupt that mining. Don't let them rebuild. Get them Probius. It's all they're in Proteus. Probius. Oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Oh, the hero. <laughs> oh, man. Did this. Why? Oh, this bitch. 
vision. I cannot bear it. Stop. Uh, hey, apparently there's an Easter egg if you ty try typing surrender to this pair next time that you play it. Let's figure out what that is. Oh, no, we're in a cutscene, so I don't have a cursor. Okay, we're going to go back. Oh, the cursor's gone. Okay, we are going to reset the mission because I would love to see what that is. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. <laughs> because that is hilarious. By the way, let me see if I can find something. I sent it to Mindhawk. I'm going to hope... Yeah, okay. So I can give you that in a bit. Let's just hit this, and then I will type. Yeah. Oh, these are not yours, but they're allied normally. Interesting. So I'm going to wait for the intro sequence to happen. Actually, while we do that, so I wanted to give a little bit of feedback. People were talking... I was talking a while ago about the hybrid voice acting thing, and I want to show you currently what I have for one of the hybrid, because I'm pretty proud of it. I think it sounds pretty good. Surrender to despair. So obviously it's not like a perfect recreation of Mar, but I think that also that was uh, the Discord audio. Discord always reduces the audio quality. It sounds a little bit better than that if you're running it natively. But I think that something in that thing will give me the ability to pretty easily do some voice acting on a hybrid for the hybrid edition campaign. All right, so that part is done. Does it give him the pair? <laughs> Does it do anything else? No, it doesn't. Does he throw it? Oh, that's a shame. If he threw the pair as his attack animation, that would be the greatest thing ever. All right, this video has gone on long enough. Thank you guys for watching. Next mission is uh, Cutthroat? I think it's Cutthroat. That'd be pretty fun. Stopping Jim from getting all the Min Mins. I will see you guys then. Peace.